Brandon was a smart kid with big dreams. He wanted to be rich and famous, but he didn't have the patience or the skills to work hard and earn it. He was always looking for shortcuts and easy ways to make money. He started by selling fake IDs and counterfeit money to his classmates. He made a lot of cash, but he also made a lot of enemies. He was caught several times by the school authorities, but he always managed to escape with a warning or a suspension. He didn't care about the consequences or the risks. He only cared about the thrill and the profit. He was addicted to breaking the law and getting away with it. He soon realized that he needed to expand his business and find new customers. He began to use the internet and social media to advertise his services and products. He created fake profiles and websites to lure people into buying his scams. He sold everything from fake diplomas and certificates to stolen credit cards and hacked accounts to drugs and weapons. He even offered to hack into people's phones, computers, or online accounts for a fee. He was making thousands of dollars every day, but he was also attracting the attention of the law enforcement agencies. He was on their radar, but they couldn't trace him or catch him. He was too smart and too careful. He used encryption software, VPNs, proxies, and TR browsers to hide his identity and location. He used multiple devices and SIM cards to communicate with his clients and suppliers. He used cryptocurrency and anonymous online platforms to transfer and receive money. He thought he was invincible and unstoppable. He thought he was smarter than everyone else. He thought he was above the law. He was wrong. What consequences he faced and how he tried to escape Justice Brandon was not the first person to get rich by breaking the law, but he was one of the most notorious. He ran a massive drug trafficking network that spanned several states and countries, earning him millions of dollars and a reputation as a ruthless kingpin. But his lavish lifestyle and criminal empire came crashing down when he was arrested by federal agents in a sting operation. You might think that someone like Brandon would face a harsh punishment for his crimes, but you would be wrong. Brandon had a secret weapon, his wealth. He hired the best lawyers money could buy, who used every trick in the book to delay, dismiss, or reduce his charges. He also exploited a loophole in the law that allowed him to post bail and remain free while awaiting trial. But Brandon was not satisfied with just staying out of prison. He wanted to escape justice altogether. He used his connections and resources to obtain fake passports, identities, and travel documents. He also bribed officials, witnesses, and jurors to tamper with evidence, lie on the stand, or change their verdicts. He even hired hit men to eliminate anyone who posed a threat to him or his case. Brandon thought he was untouchable, but he was wrong. His luck ran out when one of his associates turned informant and exposed his schemes to the authorities. The FBI launched a massive manhunt for Brandon, who had fled the country and was hiding in various locations around the world. He was finally tracked down and captured in a remote villa in Spain, where he was living under an alias. Brandon was extradited back to the United States, where he faced a new trial with overwhelming evidence against him. This time, he had no chance of escaping or evading justice. He was convicted on multiple counts of drug trafficking, money laundering, racketeering, murder, and other crimes. He was sentenced to life in prison without parole, plus several consecutive terms of years. Brandon's story is a nightmare for justice, but also a lesson for us all. It shows us that wealth and power can corrupt and distort the law, but they cannot ultimately defeat it. It shows us that crime does not pay, and that sooner or later, justice will catch up with those who break the law.